Hi everyone and welcome to another video. In this video I'll be installing Windows on this late 2015 iMac without using Bootcamp Assistant. There are several reasons why you would like to do so. One of them might be that you want more flexibility in choosing how you divide your system between macOS and Windows, or you might choose to just only install Windows on your iMac. Another good reason might be because you run into issues with Bootcamp Assistant and this method might help you to overcome them. In this video, I will go step by step through the whole process. We will start by preparing the installation media, including the drivers. After that, in case you want to keep Windows and macOS, we will repartition the disk, but the step can be skipped if you only want Windows on your iMac. After that, we will do the actual Windows installation, and once Windows is installed, we will install the required drivers. At this point, you should already be good to use Windows, but as a final step, I'll explain how to switch between macOS and Windows and how to choose which one boots by default. For our first step, we need to create the installation media. That is a USB drive containing the Windows installation files and the drivers to use once we installed Windows. For this, you will need a USB drive of at least 8GB. The easiest way to create the USB installation media is by using a Windows computer or Windows VM. For macOS, you can also download the Windows 10 ISO, but it's a bit more complicated to create a bootable USB drive. From Windows, you just have to download the media creation tool from Microsoft's website. Once the file is downloaded, just start the tool and wait for it to initialize. In the meanwhile, you can insert the USB drive which you plan to use. Now choose for Create Installation Media and in the next screen change the language as desired. Click Next and choose to create a USB drive rather than downloading the ISO. Finally, choose which drive to use and click Next. The tool will download the necessary data and will write it to your USB drive. This can take some time depending on your download speed and write speed of the USB drive. When the tool finishes, the next part is to download the necessary drivers. Before we can do so, we need to find the model identifier of our iMac. This can simply be done from macOS by clicking the top left Apple icon and open About This Mac. Then click System Report, and as you can see, for my system, the identifier is iMac 17,1. Using the identifier, we can use a tool called Brigadier to download the necessary drivers. You can find a link for this tool in the description. This tool can also run on macOS directly, for example if you created the installation media earlier or are using a retail Windows installation USB drive. In that case, it will automatically detect the model identifier. For this video, I will continue on Windows, where I created the installation media before. On the right side of the GitHub page of Brigadier, click on the latest release and download it. Open a command prompt and optionally move the file to a separate directory. Then execute it while passing the model identifier as an argument. The tool will download the package with the bootcamp files and, more importantly, all required drivers for your iMac. After downloading, the package will be extracted and should end in the same directory as from where you executed Brigadier. Once this all completes, all that's left is to copy the downloaded files to the USB drive. Up to the next step. In case you want to replace macOS completely by Windows, you can skip the step and go straight to the Windows installation. Otherwise, if you prefer to keep both macOS and Windows on the device, we need to repartition the disk to allow both to coexist. The disk in my iMac has been replaced with an SSD, but the steps should be exactly the same if you did not. Start by opening Disk Utility and on the left side select your drive, then click Partition. Click the plus sign to add a partition and choose for Partition. Change the format to MS-DOS 
and resize the partition you would like to use for Windows as desired. Finally, change the name to something you can remember and click Apply. If all goes well, the new partition should be added now. A bug in disk utility seems to keep only the first letter of the name, so you can change that back to the value which you chose earlier. At this point, we are ready to install Windows. To do so, insert the prepared USB drive in your iMac and reboot it while holding the ALT key. After the chime, the bootloader will show up and you should see both your internal disk on the left and the USB drive on the right. Unfortunately, this is not very visible in the video. Choose for the USB drive and press enter. As you can see, the Windows installer starts from the USB drive and after some time, you can see the dialog where you can select your language and local settings. Next is the prompt for the product key and matching version. Choose here for a custom installation and in the next screen we need to select where to install Windows. In case you only want Windows, you can delete all the existing partitions and choose the remaining free space and click next. For a dual boot with macOS, select the partition which you created in the second step, make sure it matches the same name you chose over there, then click format and after that click next. The actual installation now takes place so this can take some time. After some time and a few reboots, you need to answer some additional questions regarding keyboard layout, username, and privacy settings. Once you have answered those and had some more patience, you are greeted with your fresh Windows 10 desktop. At this point, we still do not have any drivers for wireless or wired networking. To make sure things are a bit more readable on the video, I will first change the DPI settings. Then we can navigate to our USB drive and run the setup of the bootcamp utility and drivers which we downloaded in the first step, using Brigadier. When this completes, choose to reboot. Once the system is started, most, if not all, drivers are already installed. If not, and it's a good idea anyway, the best is to run Windows Update and let it first install all available updates. In case something is still missing, you can install the optional updates in order to try to fix missing drivers. In my experience, going through these steps covers 90% of all driver installs. At this point, the installation is done and everything should be working as expected in Windows. Now, if you want to switch between macOS and Windows, the easiest method is to reboot while holding the ALT key, just as we did to boot from the USB drive. There is now an additional entry here to boot into Windows. Let's choose to boot back to macOS.
From macOS, by using the startup disk utility, you can also choose which operating system boots by default, Windows or macOS. That's it, this concludes the video. Thanks a lot for watching my video. I really hope you liked it, and if you did, please put a thumbs up. If you like this or similar content, I really recommend you to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again, and I hope to see you back here soon.